Mother Expo 2020. My name is Noah. Africa is more diverse than I thought it is. Countries speak Portuguese, French, English, and so many other tribal languages. Africa is home for many hundreds of thousands of different tribes. Lesotho, Iswatini, Togo, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Benin, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Gabon, Gambia, Malawi, Mauritius, and more. Welcome to Namibia! Do you know where is Lesotho? Lesotho? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Alexi Segla Awansu. Okay. Uh, my country is uh, Benin. Bongay B. Herero Kora Tamara Tire Matisa. You say it's Yahweh Mugela. This is the, this is the, king. the king of Swatini. Yes. We have mining, minerals, resources. We have diamond, we have gold, we have uh, lithium. We have uranium, we have copper, we have uh, cobalt, we have uh, uh, this is coltan, Colombo Tantalit. Wow, all these minerals. Yes, to fabricate mobile. Now the world, everybody in the world has mobile because of Congo. Because of Congo. Without Congo, no mobile. So I am here at Guinea Equatorial Guinea Pavilion. I'm from Guinea-Bissau in West Africa. We speak uh, Portuguese. So we are around uh, 2 million uh, population. But our Guinea is not connected to the other Guinea. No, it has connected. nothing to do with no, the other Guinea. No, it's not. It, it don't have nothing to do with another one. We speak Spanish, okay. another one speaks French, and another one speaks. So you have us, for example, the Republic of Guinea, we are a former French colony. Equatorial Guinea was a former Spanish colony. Guinea-Bissau was a former Portuguese colony. But we're all still in West African region. Completely different countries with completely different cultures of people. So it's quite confusing. I am in uh, Gabon Pavilion. Uh, Gabon. Yes. Well, uh, all, all, both names Swaziland and Eswatini come from, you know, the name of the people. Because the people are called Swati people. Okay, the tribe. The tribe. The main yeah. tribe. The, the main country. tribe, yes, called Swati people, Swati. Okay. And then Eswatini is like Swaziland, but in our native oh. language. It says the land of the Swazis, or the land of the Swati people. And we are the second largest producer of wool, wool. in Africa. Wool? Wolf in Africa? Yes. My name is Zaina. Zaina. Juma Sonia. Zainab Juma. Sonia. Sonia, and, and you are Muslim? Yeah, I'm Muslim. So, wh what's the population of uh, percentage of, uh, of Muslims in Congo? In Congo, maybe 10%. That's very high altitude, which uh, we are at an elevation of about 1,400 meters above the sea level. Oh. The entire land of the Sotho. Uh, we also have then Papua New Guinea, but this one, they're all the way down close to Australia. 
So wow. what happened is that when you had the British colonizer that first came to West Africa and they traveled on to go towards Australia and they saw people that physically resembled the people from West Africa so they had like darker skin and curly hair so they said oh we should call this place New Guinea because they reminded them of Western Africa and Papua was the name of the island back then so that's how it became Papua New Guinea. There is Democratic Republic of Congo. The capital is Kinshasa. The second Congo is uh, Opilari, Congo. The capital is Brazzaville. Brazzaville. Republic Opilari of Congo. The capital is Brazzaville. But us, we are from Democratic Republic of Congo, capital Kinshasa. Hello, welcome to Congo DRC. This is Congo DRC. Congo DRC is my country. I love so much my country. This language, this language is Lingala, Lingala. Guinea, Equatorial Guinea. 1.4 million. They are colonized by Spain. Uh, Amgones don't know how to dance. Okay. How not how to prepare farm food. Th these are sorry different names of tribes. The, yes, the ethnic. The eth ethnicity, ethnicity. Okay, and can you say them again? This is Fang. Fang. This is Anobones. Anobones. Hiriolos. This, uh, Viso. 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 This is Bubi. Bubi. Okay. And people are still keeping these traditions today. Yes, yes, this yes. still exists. Like you would find this someone. Is, this is Guinea. This is Guinea. This is Guinea. Okay. You want to know Guinea? This is Guinea. The main education is all in Spanish, it's right? Spanish. All in Spanish. Spanish. Okay. So Even we cannot, we cannot uh, uh, speak together. We cannot understand. Uh, when we are not speaking so Spanish. So even the tribes that are not in the capital also learn in Spanish? Spanish. Everything is in Spanish. You cannot understand because oh. you have your own African language. So there, there my are yes. Equatorial Guinea citizens. You don't, you don't know, understand yes, the language. Yes, you don't understand. You support the This is very interesting because coming from Jordan, we are not a huge population. We are only 10 million. But we speak all of But in, in African countries, what I'm noticing is, is that Equatorial Guinea is a small population, it's 1.4 million, yet they speak many languages. Six. Six languages. Six, in one, African. six African languages in one place. This is Africa. Africa is rich with resources, minerals, oil, agriculture, but also Africa is rich with culture. And this is a good example. Equatorial Guinea is 1.4 million and you can see how much diverse culture they have they speak six different languages in one place equatorial guinea <laughs> We often get the question, why are there so many Guineas? So you have four different countries that have Guinea in the name. You have us, Republic of Guinea. You also have Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, and Papua New Guinea. So the term Guinea actually, some say that it comes from Arabic, the word Gnewa, which was the name given to the population in Sub-Saharan Africa. So oftentimes the region in West Africa in olden times was nicknamed Guinea. This is why you still have around the Atlantic Ocean on the western most part, you still have the name of uh, the Gulf of Guinea to refer to West Africa. So in our country we have about 14 different ethnic groups, but uh, you have like three, four major ones and then some smaller ones as well. Okay. 
when we say 14 ethnic groups, which means also 14 different languages? 14 different languages, 14 different cultures as well. The official language is French, so that's the language that we learn in school. Okay. That's the administrative language, so if you visit Guinea, and that's mostly the language people will speak to you. Okay. Yes. Why do you think uh, African countries, even with small population, they have so many languages? It's because when you look at it, actually, when you look at Africa in pre-colonization time, there was a lot of different kingdoms mm. and uh, different tribes. Groups, tribes that were living together. And then when they cut the borders, the colonizers cut the borders, they did it without much care for where the different ethnic groups were living. Okay. For example, when you take Guinea and you take, for example, Mali. So when you take northeastern Guinea, which shares the border with Mali, you'll find that the people have similar languages, similar culture, closer to some other ethnic groups in their country because they used to be part of the Mali Empire before. The reason why I'm asking why there are uh, uh, so many languages for a small population, um, I wanted you to answer this because when, when people think of Africa, they mostly talk about the resources, the minerals, the agriculture, but they don't speak about the culture. Right. Which, which is very obvious how diverse, how diverse Africa is with culture. So Guinea have 14 different languages. Absolutely. So I think this is why platforms such as Expo 2020 Dubai are so amazing. And this is why we're so grateful that uh, through the UAE and through Expo, we had the chance to come and present our country in our own words. This is the first time ever that Guinea has its independent pavilion at an Expo. So we're really able to tell our story in our own words and to make the people know about us. So about our diversity and our culture and how we may have so many ethnic groups, but we live all in harmony and we all live together. And this is really the message that we also wanted to share with the world, that we're more than our minerals. Yes, this is, this is the, I think this is the biggest, most, uh, I don't know what to call it. This is a very big statement. We are more than minerals. <laughs> this is Africa. This is Guinea. We'll see you in another country. I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to visit Expo and to be in these countries and to speak to these guys because this is why I am here. I'm here to speak to them about their culture and their countries and let's go to another place and let's see how lucky we are to find another African culture to explore, another African beautiful human being to speak to. How do you say welcome or in Lesotho? Uh, if it's singular, say it please now. If it is one person, if it's many, <laughs> Lesotho is the kingdom which is located right in the middle of South Africa, landlocked by South Africa. Historically, it happened that our four founding father when there was war in the region, he asked for protection from the Queen of England uh -huh. at that time. So now she sent an envoy to come and mark the uh, Lesotho territory. Okay, yeah, so England the helped uh, yes, Lesotho? Yes, it helped founding father who is Kim Mushashe, the first. Kim Mushashe. So the population of Lesotho is just around two million. Two million? Yeah. And the language? We speak Sesotho. I come Sesotho. from Sesotho. I speak Sesotho. Okay, you have your and own language. I'm a Sesotho woman. Yes. Okay. So you have a king in Lesotho. Yes. Who, who's the king of Lesotho? Our king is called His Majesty, King Lizia III. Okay. Yeah. And he's married to one wife, beautiful mm. lady, uh, queen. Lesotho. Lesotho is a kingdom inside South Africa. They asked for protection from, from England 
back in the days and they that's how they became one of the three kingdoms in Africa I just learned So the main languages that we do speak, so we are specialized in English, which is our first language, and then obviously we have Afrikaans. We have Bambu, we have Adamara, we have Herero, we have Kavango, we have Caprivi, I can mention them all. So these are all languages that you guys will be able to hear from the beautiful country of Namibia. Welcome to the motherland, Namibia. Namibia. Woo! This is Swakop Most, it's very beautiful and marvelous. A lot of uh, amazing places to see. You can visit, which is, which is our capital city, and you can all the best of it. Or you can you go to the Bahia region. You can visit Etosha National Park, that's where you find all our unicorns and This is Salman Dakola, um, living here in UAE, in Dubai. I've been here for nine years. I'm an engineer. I did FITA antenna in Northern Cape, but two members. One of the greatest countries in the southern part of Africa. So, on a the I speak French, I speak Lingala, uh, I speak Swahili, and I speak sort of English. My country is a nice country. We have uh, many, many things. We have cobalt, we have uh, gold, we have a diamond, we have uh, everything, but uh, no peace. Yeah. So when you meet someone from Congo, DRC, do, do you expect him to speak French or other language? He can speak French, he can speak Lingala, we will understand each other. We have national language, four national language, one official language. Okay. Official language is French. French, and the other but one? National language, there are four. Lingala, Kiswahili, Chiluba, and Chikongo. Republic of Congo. The okay. Republic Popular of Congo. Brazzaville. Yeah, that is and, Brazzaville. And you're and, uh, as is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay, and this concert is from DRC? Republic, yes, DRC. And the language here? Lingala. Lingala. Zaiko Langa Langa. Langa Langa. Okay, so they are famous. Yes, yes. it's a group. <laughs> French colonized. Our Congo is a Belgium colonized. Learning about African countries could be exciting and frustrating. Africa, Burundi, is the poorest country in the world, unfortunately. Some other countries are going through political stress and unsettlement. But Africa, there is hope. Africa, there is hope. Africa, there is hope. Africa, there is hope. A pavilion as a kingdom of Eswatini. The kingdom of Eswatini is actually located uh, in southern Africa. It is um, between South Africa and Mozambique. Uh, if you see the flag here be behind me, uh, this um, map, this is where we are located. And to the east, we have Mozambique, and to our west, northern south, we have the country, uh, Republic of South Africa. Uh, the people of the Kingdom of Swatini are called Swati people. Uh, it's one tribe, all uh, Swa Swa Swati, and um, they speak one language called Siswati. And uh, that's where the, the name Eswatini emanates from. The name Eswatini is orig the original name of our country uh, before the colonial times. Uh, so the name Eswaziland was given to us by our colonial masters, which is Britain. 
So in 2018, um, we changed the name back to Eswatini. 2018. 2018. Not too, not too long ago. Not too long ago. Yes, to commemorate 50 years of uh, independence. Okay, and Eswatini is a kingdom. It's a kingdom. And yes. what's what's the name of your king, please? The name is King Mswati the Third. The current ruler is King Mswati the Third. Okay. Yes. And um, what's the population of Eswatini? The population is uh, actually 1.2 million. Okay. Yeah. And the religion. Yeah, it's, ma it's mainly uh, Roman Catholic, which is Christian. We are, we are mainly known for sugar. Uh, for many years we've been uh, producing some of the world's best sugar. Sugar? Yes, and um, we also do uh, citrus, which we send to Europe as well. Ah, oh, citrus, okay. Yeah, citrus, yes. And then yeah, we also orange, do, lemon. Yeah, and then we also do timber. 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 What yeah. is timber? Timber is like wood, like uh, wood. Uh, 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 planks. You can, you can see as you move around the, the pavilion. Part of the economy, if we want to speak about Eswatini culture, what, what is the culture like? Like, is there different tribes? Different? No, we've got one tribe. One tribe in Eswatini. So one tribe, one people, country. Yes. One tribe, one people. So yes. everyone is relatives. Uh, not really, but mostly. <laughs> <laughs> That we've got, you know, the the safari animals here. We've got uh, a flora. <laughs> we've got the birds. In 2020, we were ranked fifth best country to visit by Lonely Planet. Wow! That, yeah, our our tourism um, sector is really really attractive. The fifth best country to visit in the world. In the world. Yes. Yes. It's not about who's wrong or right. Just wanted you to join the fight instead. You just fight me. Can you see where the same oh, what, what can you tell us about Togo? Togo is a beautiful country. Uh, in West of Africa. Safe country. Safe, of course, and uh, we are very welcoming. We like people. Like how many languages? Forty. Forty languages. Forty languages. Yeah. And the main one? The main we have two. Ewe in the south and Kabia in the north. Kabia? Yeah. Kabir. How do you say welcome in Kabia? Kabite or Labit? No. Ewe is our language, both of us. <laughs> so. How do you say it? Ewe is the second language, it's our language. So welcome is Wezo. 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 Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Guinea Bissau is famous in Kashunut. Uh, we are safe for tourism. We are many islands there. Uh, I mean, 88 islands in our country. So you can visit and know our a little of our culture, and uh, you can see uh, closely our uh, national animal like uh, hippo. You can see there and many things. <laughs> Seven days, seven days for Expo to close its doors. Only seven days. Expo was the perfect place to learn about these countries. 193 countries came to Expo Dubai 2020.
thank you for watching my video stay with me we'll see you in another video in another journey thank you expo dubai if it's one person i hope that one day i visit uh, equatorial guinea okay you are welcome and this is an invitation for uh, everyone to to <laughs> yeah. come and visit equatorial guinea when, when you say equatorial it means like you have a very nice weather right it's not uh, too cold not too hot no it's not too cold it's not too hot but uh, Humid? normally it's it's, well, it's supposed to be six months raining six months sun oh. but now the climate change is changed okay. <laughs> it's like mud so okay. sometimes when there's no support to rain, it's rain. When uh, there's no support to be sun, there's be sun. <laughs> Soso, Iswatini, Burundi, Malawi, Mauritius, Gabon, Gambia, Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Congo Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo. This is Africa. These are African countries. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Our goal is to allow opportunities for all the Olympics by 2030. There is much to be done if we want to win. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be here and working at Expo. And I have not seen too many nationalities come together. And the, we also enjoyed and the visitor also enjoyed here. It was a good experience. It's, it's very sad. So Expo is finishing. We have a lot of memories. And yeah. I, I have personally seen Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh Rashid and lots of other ministers. Okay. This is, a, this is a very smart answer. We have good memories. Yeah. We have good memories. Yeah. This is the concept of life, you know? Yes. You can't stop the moment. Life moves on and life is about memories. What's the most beautiful place to visit in Pakistan? Pakistan, uh, Swat, 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 Swat Valley, and uh, Mari. Mari is a snow, snowfall in winter, and Islamabad, the green, green city of Islam uh, of Pakistan. Okay, I, I visited Pakistan Pavilion. It's it's very nice. Oh. Yeah, and you, I also invite you to visit Jordan. Yeah, it's my dream to visit Jordan. Inshallah, you Jordan will. and Egypt. Jordan and Egypt. Yes. Yalla, nice to meet you. Nice to meet we you. We will see you in Expo Japan. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>